Hello Stampers! I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Income with Dink and welcome to my Facebook Live. This week for my video that I did um, or am going to do in my Facebook Live right now, I have been focusing on the sweet ice cream bundle that is in the mini catalog. If you have not checked out this bundle, you have got to because it is an amazing bundle, super fun to play with, super easy to make really fun cards, um, and I'm just really enjoying playing with it. With it. So I'm going to give you guys just a second to find me and I am going to go on and share uh, my Facebook Live over to my uh, customer group just so that I can be sure everybody gets a chance to watch that wants to watch. So today has been a really nice day here. It's supposed to get up to around 50 today. Um, and I actually took advantage of the day and ran and got my car washed. <laughs> I am not sure what happened, but sometime within this last week, I actually got um, bombarded by birds. Um, I think it happened as I was parked over at my mom's um, place because I, I park under a bunch of trees when I'm over there. And so I think I got, um, I just got bombarded with birds at that time. So it was very funny. So I'm like, it's a nice day above freezing. I need to go wash my car. Um, and of course, it's one of those things. I don't know about you, but I don't like to do things for the first time, things that I'm unfamiliar with. So um, I went to this car wash and it was my first time there. I hate to do it. And of course, I pull in and get ready to pay. I can't figure out the ding kiosk to pay. A guy finally comes out to help me. I'm like, yeah, um, a newbie here, in case you couldn't tell. He laughed. He said, yeah, I can tell. Let me help you out. <laughs> so he did. He was very nice. Um, but anyway, got my car all washed, so all is good. All right, of course, Facebook is um, being a bear right now um, because that's just what it does. Um, I'm trying to share this, and it doesn't want to share it. So we may only be... Um, showing this in one place today and then we'll have to share it later so it's just not more options it's just not giving me the option to do it it's not cooperating so okay so we're not going to worry about it we will share it over there um, at a later time so what we are doing today like i said is i'm going to show you uh, we're actually going to make three cards using the sweet ice cream bundle and sheila says she can't wait to see them she just got this bundle they're so fun it's so much fun uh, to play with and come up with things so while i'm talking about it i'm going to go ahead and flip you over because I've got lots of stuff to show you um, that I have been working on. So I did a uh, blog post yesterday and posted this card here. I actually did the card, made it off using my um, team challenge for the week. So it was really kind of a fun card. Of course, it's purple. I love purple. Got to do that. Um, and so that was kind of a fun one. I am also going to be doing a video tomorrow showing how to make this card here. This was actually a card that I made for a recent swap that I did. Um, oh, look at that. Facebook still is not cooperating with me. Why is that? Um, so I actually am doing a video to show you guys how to do this card um, right here. So... All right, what is going on? I hope I'm not... Make three cards. There we go. Okay, so this is one that the video will be coming out tomorrow. So Sheila says she's the same way. She doesn't like something the first time. No, I don't either. I would almost rather um, stick, stick in my eye than go try things for the first time. So my husband says, oh, go to that car wash. It's a good one. It's easy to manipulate and everything. He says, and there's, there's the little uh, vacuums outside that you can try afterwards. And I'm like, look, if I go, the fact that I get there and through the car wash on the first time um, is enough. I certainly cannot master the vacuums all in the same day, which is just a silly way to be because I am a very competent woman and can handle these things, but I just don't like new experiences. I don't like new things. So kind of funny the way we let these things limit us. All right. So are you ready to see the cards we're making today? We're going to be making these three cards right here. Okay, so I just really wanted to show you a variety of ways to use not only the papers, 
look at this but to bring in some different products look at this here and just some really fun ways to show off um, the paper the punches things like that now there are is very little stamping in these three cards you will see that very little stamping I'm mainly taking advantage of the punches and the designer series paper in fact we use designer series paper on all three of these cards okay so super super fun and easy to do all right let's get started so this is going to be the um, first card that we're going to be making okay so pull out all my stuff for it so basically it's just going to start off with a piece of thick I gotta say basic white cardstock now because that is our white now um, thick basic white it is eight and a half by five and a half we're just going to take it fold it in half be sure and use your bone folder so that your crease is nice and crisp okay then i'm really going to let the designer series paper show here so this is one of the pieces of, of designer series paper from the pack it has this fun design on the back and i'm going to give you a little hint and on our third card today show you how to use this paper but this is what the back side looks like um, and I love it too. So that just shows you it's just got some really great paper in this pack. So I'm going to go ahead. This one is, let me give you my measurements here, five by three and three fourths. I'm going to go ahead, put my adhesive on it as my ruler jabs me here. And I'm just going to adhere it down to the center front of my card. Now, sometimes I do like to do my first layer here smaller than normal, okay? Just to give a little more of an edge of your card to show. White cards, I think, just are very clean looking, so I like it. So this is another one of the papers from the pack. I have to say this is my favorite design. I think this is so cute. Love the colors in it. It's very whimsical, very fun. This one I cut and it is four and a half by three and a quarter. Again, not doing anything to it. Look at the back side of this. Isn't that fun? That is to do the ice cream cones and we're gonna use it later too. Put my adhesive on the back of there, center that in the middle of our green polka dot, just like that. Now my next layer is going to be a piece of the ribbon. This is the Blackberry Bliss ribbon that is in the suite. So it all coordinates and is all perfect together. I'm just going to measure out a piece and I just kind of laid it across my card just to see about how much I wanted. Okay, and I am going to adhere it down with my tear and tape. Now that is my adhesive of choice for ribbons. Um, and all I'm going to do is just put it down, maybe right here in the middle of my ribbon. Going to take the backing off of it. And then I am going to adhere it down. Now, you know normally I do not put the adhesive on the back of my ribbon like that, but the middle of this is going to be covered up, so that is okay. But also when I did this and I feel that, that ribbon is um, dense enough that the adhesive does not, you can't feel it through there, it's not sticky at all. So this is a piece of Whisper White, nope, basic white, and it is three and a half by one and a quarter. And what I am going to do is stamp Happy Birthday on here. Now I have to tell you, I love the sentiments in this set. They are so great to use. Love the Happy Birthday, it's nice and big. Like that there's a thank you on here. Um, and then there's just some fun little treat yourself, you melt my heart, um, that are just fun things to add to your cards also. So I am going to use my Blackberry Bliss going to ink it all up good going to center that on there right like that Yoop. and then what I want to do is kind of give it a little bit of flagged ends so there's not much room it doesn't need to be much for flags but I'm just going to cut in the middle just a little bit 
go from the bottom corner to the cut, whoops, go from the top corner to the cut, and then that's all. So it does, you don't have to have a lot of room. It doesn't take much to still give it the look that's going to make it pop. That corner up there, just like that. Okay, now I do want this, speaking of pop, to pop. So we're going to add some dimensionals on here. It's a pretty wide piece of cardstock, so let's use four on there. Well, my goodness, I've hit that ruler more times today. Take our backings off of our dimensionals. And I just want to center this side to side and stick that right on there like that. And there you go. That is it. That is how simple the card is, but look how cute it is with those ice cream cones on it. Love it. Super cute. All right. The next card we're going to do is this one right here. Okay. Can you tell what these ice cream balls are, are from? See if I can get them. Ooh, there we go. Look at them sparkle. Isn't that cool? That is our rainbow glimmer paper. Who would have thought that that would look super cool as ice cream cones? So we're gonna start and do this part first just because I have this out. So you can certainly use any scraps that you have. See how I wanna do this. I think we'll do it with those. So all you have to do is just kind of see what your punch fits in. So there is one right there. I'm going to do one with a little bit of this blue in it. So really, you just need scraps. That's it. I'm going to do one with more pink so it looks like that. Look at that. I save all of it because you never know when you might need some little bitty pieces. So there is my three ice cream scoops. So to make this card, I actually pulled out a color that is not listed in the designer series paper. The green that they use, this one right here is Old Olive, okay? And when I look at this and I look at that lighter, it just screams Granny Apple to me, Granny Apple Green. So that's what I'm using for my card base. So this one is eight and a half by five and a half. Just going to take it, fold it in half. Be sure and use your bone folder. And I'm gonna do this card horizontal, okay? Now we're gonna take a piece of Daffodil Delight. And I am again going to use the Happy Birthday. This card, my sample, I have it in black, but since my stamp is already dirty with the Blackberry Bliss, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna ink it up, stamp it down here at the bottom. You always wanna stamp first, because if you mess up, you wanna be able to turn it over. So it worked okay for me, so not a problem. Got my ice cream cones already punched, or ice cream scoops. Now look at these cones, okay? Now this was the paper that I was telling you I love the ice cream, but on the back of it, look at that. That is super cool, and that makes perfect punched images for the actual ice cream cone. Okay, it looks to me like a drumstick cone. How many of you like drumsticks? I love drumsticks. Love them, love them, love it. And you know, I have found, speaking of drumsticks, I have found drumsticks in the freezer at the grocery store and they have mini ones. So they're really only about this tall, Okay, so they're teeny tiny. So I can have an ice cream almost every day and not feel guilty about it because they're so little that it's almost like, I don't know, I can talk myself and tell myself that I'm really not having one at all. <laughs> Anything to have ice cream. I love ice cream. All right, let's put this card together. So I've already stamped this one, so it is ready to go on top. So, put my adhesive on here. I'm just going to plop that down like that. 
Okay, now I kind of just take a second, lay out my ice cream cones to get an idea of where I want them. And I also put my ice cream on top just because you want to make sure you're not too close to the edges or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to start with the middle one here. And I'm not going to pop up the cones, but I will pop up the actual ice cream scoops. So let's put that one there. We'll put this one here. And then we'll stick this one right there. Now we'll grab some dimensionals for the ice cream. And you really just need one on the back. They're not too awful big. You always want your ice cream to come down a little bit over your cone, just so that it looks like it's such a huge scoop that it kind of has to overhang a little bit. Makes it look yummy. And stick that one right there. And there you go, look at that. Super simple, but so cute. And I love all the sparkle on there. Very fun. All right, card number three. So that is this one right here. I love the look of these of these ice cream scoops. They're kind of, um, they remind me of chocolate revel, although this is pink and purple, so maybe it's like, I don't know, bubblegum revel, strawberry swirl, things like that. But I actually made these from the designer series paper, okay? So let's do the other pieces of the card first, and then we'll do the ice cream. So this card base, I'm using Blackberry Bliss, eight and a half by five and a half. Take it, fold it in half. Again, use your bone folder. My next layer is a piece of petal pink. I love petal pink. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's almost like a corally orangey pink. It's very soft looking, but it's really not too uh, ready pink. Okay, so I really like it. It's kind of just has a little bit of an orange feel to me. So we're gonna put, oh, this one is five and a quarter by four. We're gonna stick it down as our first layer, okay? Oops, and I should have put the ribbon on it. We'll put the ribbon on the other one. This is a piece of white, basic white, and this one measures five and a quarter by four, the exact same size. That is never, ever gonna work. Hang on, let me grab my trimmer. Cannot do two layers on top of each other that are the same size. So this one needs to be five by three and three fourths. Much better. Okay, let's do some stamping on this one before we put it down. So again, going back to my Blackberry Bliss and my happy birthday, and I'm gonna do this one sideways, just for something kind of fun, just because I really want to accentuate the height of the ice cream cone on the other side. Now, another one of these stamps that is really fun is this one here that does the sprinkles, and of course, it's not in my box, so hang on. Oh my gosh, see what happens when you forget things? So, so it kind of looks like this. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ink it up, also in my Blackberry Bliss, and I'm just going to stamp it on the ends of my happy birthday like that. Okay, so now this will be ready to go down, but since I forgot to put my ribbon the last time, we'll do it on this layer, okay? So what I wanna do for my ribbon, I just wanna cut it about a half inch wider on both sides than my cardstock. Going to take my tear and tape, and I'm just going to put one piece over here to the left, and 
where did that go there it is one piece over here to the right now remember if you just push down good on your tear and tape that makes it come up so much easier just give it a little pressure okay then I take my ribbon center it this way where I want it wrap it around to the back and that's where it adheres is in the tear and tape make sure it's nice and straight wrap it around and it's good to go now I can go ahead and put my adhesive on here and adhere this down to my card front Alrighty, so now I am ready for another ice cream cone. I think I have, yes I do, a little piece left over. So let's see if he'll fit in my punch without too much trouble. Nope, he's not going to cooperate. So let's do this. Stick him in there. And there he is and I'm not gonna put him down yet because I want to see how high my ice cream goes so that I can center it top to bottom now what we want to do is again let the um, designer series paper speak for itself so what I'm going to do this paper is amazing love it all but I'm going to take these two pieces because these fit the color scheme of my card now they also have the same design in this one which is blues and greens but that doesn't match my card so I'm not using that one so what you can do with these they are just the right size to be ice cream scoops so all you're going to do find a scoop that you like position it on there where you want it punch it and look at that it gives it that ice cream look it is so cool I love it so let's see let's do this one here how many do I want what's my sample card have it has four let's do some from this page let's do this one here and let's do this one here all right so I have just punched out four pieces of my ice cream or four scoops of my ice cream. Just like that. Oh, they do look so yummy, don't they? All right. So yes, Sheila says the scoops from the DSP is great. I agree. They are so cool looking. I really like them. Okay. So what did I do? What did I do? Oh, there he is. I Can you believe it? I threw my cone away. My goodness. All right, so let's start with the cone. I don't want him to pop, okay, because I want my ice cream to really pop. So what I want to do, let's kind of lay out our ice cream here. See about how much room it's going to take. Okay, so we're going to go up a little bit even and overlap some so we want him down pretty much at the bottom just like that then I'm going to take these and I do want them to pop so let's put a dimensional on the back of them easy for me to say and let's just stick now we want these to wobble a little bit because you know that's the fun of eating a big old tall ice cream cone is that you have to lick all the way around it make sure your scoops don't try to fall off things like that and we'll put him on there right like that so there we go look at that is that not fun love the look of that ice cream so there you go look how super fast those cards were look how easy it is to sometimes let your designer series paper do the talking okay and with this paper that is super easy to do now I also want to tell you if you are in love with this bundle or this suite this is also what I am using this month for my um, online club right now 
okay so what it is we are going to be making six different cards look at this shaker card is that not fun we're going to be making six different cards using the sweet ice cream bundle okay look at this one that folds out how fun we're also going to be making this super cute little box that which will hold a uh, little Ghirardelli chocolates it'll hold Hershey's kisses things like that to do this club it is $35 that's it $35 you get all the supplies to make these six projects you will also get half of a package of this amazing designer series paper so all I do is take a package whoop, cut it down the middle so you've got a 6 by 12 of all 12 pieces of paper you will also get a spool of this Blackberry Bliss ribbon okay amazing plus and I didn't use it on any of my cards today but you'll also get this container of the sprinkles look at those aren't those amazing they are so much fun to put on cards they're not very thick so that um, they don't really bulk up your card which is not um not a problem but here is one of the cards this is my video tomorrow um, that this card has the sprinkles on it so they're very fun to use very um, fun to use on cards so I will put the link in the description um, if you are interested in joining my club this month um, the cost um, of the club does include shipment directly to your door um, so that is super fun plus if you don't have the bundle the stamp set and the punch you can add Add them on as you're purchasing the club and they will be delivered with all of your club supplies so thank you so much for joining me today I have had so much fun this week designing all of these cards using the birthday suite um, and then getting to share all of them with you so if you have any questions please let me know and otherwise I will catch you next time